Hi, and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996, and in 2012, I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links, or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Conroe, Texas. Conroe is located north of Houston, up Highway 45, just past the Woodlands. We are in the Bridges subdivision. We're standing in front of 6020 Jernigan Road. That's 6020 Jernigan Road. This is a three-bedroom, two-bath, single-story home. It's approximately 2,130 square feet. It was built in 1983, and it's just on a really big lot. The lot is 2.3 acres. <clears throat> Now, I will give you an aerial view of the lot size and shape. One thing you'll notice on the aerial view is that the home has a large structure that might not come with the property, but the home is eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive program, repair money, and closing cost assistance. So this home is very inexpensive to move into. Uh, you sit on a very large lot, and as I said, I'm not really sure if the big shed on the right will convey but we'll find out uh, when we do the title search the exterior of the home is brick and a little bit of wood siding you have a nice covered structure here to park on there's not really a slab poured to drive up from the road but you do have this slab here to park on <clears throat> and an entrance we'll come investigate this big shed but as i said i'll show you another aerial view of the uh, structure in the lot and the area in the little square here, as you'll see, is currently owned by the bank that owned the property before, so I'm not really sure if that's going to convey. We probably won't know that until closer to closing, so if that is something that is a factor to your purchasing this property, we'll have to do some investigating before you make an offer. But as you see, we come in from the back, and it's a very big storage structure. You have some sliding doors in the front that open, high ceiling, big slab. You could park or store quite a bit of property inside this structure and we come to the back a little bit of siding here from the big parking structure and there is an electrical panel but it does seem to have been um, uh, cut so you'll have to want to have that investigated coming to the back of the home you'll notice the air conditioning unit is up off the ground and there's an additional mini split which will serve to cool and heat what was probably originally the converted or the, the garage for the floor plan, but they've since converted it. But the wiring is cut on this as well. I'm not sure if it's vandals or previous owner, but you'll definitely want to have the air conditioning inspected and serviced as well as the electrical. We come over to the air conditioning and you can see that's cut. The copper there is cut as well, so have to repair that. But Exterior-wise, the home is really in good shape. The roof looks to be in nice shape. The brick is nice and painted. The siding is good shape. Come around the side. You'll notice there's a door here on the right that takes you in from your parking. And there's not a sidewalk that was poured, but you might want to consider doing that. So if you do have guests come in from the front door, they can easily access that without having to go through the grass. Nice little covered patio, some sago palms. And when we come to this side of the home, it does appear that the home is on a water well. There appears to be a well pump there. And I noticed in the back that it looks like they had a hookup for uh, liquid propane if you wanted uh, propane heating. So we'll take a look at the inside, then I'll give you a summary. Well, as we step into the home, we're immediately into your big family living room, which combines with the dining room and opens into the kitchen. It's a pretty nice big open floor plan, which I like. It has a uh, laminate wood floor, which is in really good shape. The home is actually in pretty good shape altogether. The home has a granite countertop, a mosaic uh, tile backsplash, lots of countertop space, lots of cabinet space, probably enough space for a little island in the middle. We come over to what was probably the garage in the floor plan, but they converted it into uh, additional living space uh, there you can see the mini split up top and the door that takes you out to where you park and it's actually in really good shape. I like that they put crown molding in here. You have the remote for the AC and heater in here, um, recessed lights. Around the corner here to the left is where the laundry room is, your washer and dryer connections, your water heater, additional storage, and a pretty good sized closet down at the end of the hall here. 
we're back out into what would be your dining room here, kitchen to the right, living room, and then we have bedroom number one, which is in pretty good shape. I think you could probably get away with just a little touch-up paint and steam cleaning the carpet. Around the hallway here, we have to the left your first bathroom, and this bathroom has a nice uh, granite vanity top, shower and tub combo, little storage space above the commode, big mirror, which I like. Right next to that bathroom is bedroom number two, which could probably stand to be repainted. This pink paint is not, uh, is a little bit damaged. And then we have the third bedroom, the master bedroom, or the primary bedroom, which will also need maybe touch-up paint. Uh, maybe steam clean the carpet, your master walk-in closet, and then the master bathroom, which has a shower and tub combo. Right next to that, we have your water closet, which is the room with your commode. Turn back, we have your vanity top with granite, little linen closet, and that's about it. Back to the master. So, as I said, this home is eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive program, repair money, or closing cost assistance. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 6020 Jernigan Road. That's 6020 Jernigan Road, a very nice big three-bedroom, two-bath, single-story home on a huge 2.3-acre lot. And as I said, I'm not sure if that big storage structure is going to convey with the purchase. We can definitely do some investigating. But the home is eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive, and it's listed right now for only $254,000. So if you're interested in this home or you have any questions, please call me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.